Have you ever marveled at the amazingly realistic skies and racing games like Forza Horizon 4? Or been captivated by an environment in your favorite movie? Chances are, high dynamic range images play a key role in creating those environments. But what are HDRI images? And how are they used in video game development and other industries? And what makes them so special in creating lifelike and immersive environments? Join us as we delve into the world of HDRI images and discover the amazing capabilities and applications of these powerful tools. From capturing reference photos of the real world to lighting 3D environments in video games, HDRI images are an essential part of creating the breathtakingly realistic and immersive worlds that we are able to experience. First, let's define what an HDRI is. In the world of computer graphics, an HDRI is a type of image that captures the full range of light in the scene. From the darkest shadows to the brightest highlights. This allows for a more realistic and lifelike representation of the environment in video game or film. So how are HDRI images made for 3D environments? It all starts with capturing reference photos of the real world. This can be done through a process called spherical photography, where a camera is mounted on a tripod and rotated 360 degrees to capture multiple images at different exposures. These photos are then stitched together to create a high resolution spherical image. Another way of doing things is by using a dedicated piece of hardware like this 360 camera, which makes taking high dynamic range images super easy. The downside to this fast and convenient way is that it costs about as much as getting a camera and tripod and taking the pictures manually. So, if you're planning on taking HDRIs yourself and you already have a DSLR camera, it might be best and cheaper to do it manually. But if you want a quick and easy HDRI, a dedicated 360 camera will be best. After taking pictures on a DSLR camera, the HDRI image is processed and edited in specialized software such as Adobe Photoshop. This involves adjusting the exposure, color balance and other factors to create a realistic and cohesive image. Once the HDRI image is complete, it is imported into the game engine, such as Unity or Unreal Engine. The game developers can then use the HDRI image to light the game environment, create realistic shadows, reflections and other lighting effects. Now, let's take a look at how HDRI images are used in two popular racing games, Forza Horizon 4 and Need for Speed Heat. In Forza Horizon 4, the developers at Playground Games used HDRI images to create a beautiful, realistic skies in the game. By capturing reference photos of real-world skies and processing them into HDRI images, they were able to create dynamic, ever-changing skies that accurately reflect the time of day and weather conditions. Similarly, the developers at Ghost Games used HDRI images to create the stunning, photorealistic environments in Need for Speed Heat. By capturing reference photos, they were able to create immersive, lifelike racing environments that truly feel like you're driving through the streets of Palm City. The use of HDRI images in video game development can make a significant difference in the realism and immersion of 3D environments. One of the key benefits of HDRI images is their ability to capture the full range of light in a scene. This allows for more realistic and lifelike lighting in the game environment, as the HDRI image can be used to cast accurate shadows, reflections and other lighting effects. This makes the objects look like they're lit very naturally and gives the illusion of realism. For example, in a racing game like Forza Horizon 4, the use of HDRI images can make the environments feel more immersive. The dynamic, ever-changing skies create a sense of being in the game world rather than just playing it on a screen. By accurately representing the lighting and reflections in the scene, HDRI images can make objects in the environment feel more three-dimensional and grounded in the game world. This is due to the fact that HDRIs are taken at multiple exposures and therefore have more lighting data. In contrast to regular images that have a very limited dynamic range, regular images might have very blown out highlights or underexposed shadows, making it very unrealistic. The use of HDRIs in video games and movies have drastically increased their realism. Now, let's talk more about HDRIs in film. In the same way that HDRIs are used in video game development, HDRI images are also used in film and television production to create 3D models of real-world environments. These 3D models can then be used to create virtual sets, which allows filmmakers to shoot scenes in a virtual environment rather than on a physical set. This can be more cost-effective and allow for greater control over the lighting and other aspects of the scene. 
As we've seen, HDRI images are a crucial part of creating realistic and immersive environments in video games. By capturing the full range of light in the scene and using the data to light the 3D environment, HDRI images allow for more lifelike and believable lighting effects, creating a truly immersive and engaging experience for players. But the use of HDRI images extends far beyond just video games. From film and television production to architecture and advertising, HDRI images are used in a wide range of industries to create more realistic and lifelike 3D environments. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more impressive and realistic use of HDRI images in the future. From stunning photorealistic landscapes to immersive virtual reality environments, the possibilities are endless. So the next time you pick up your controller or put on your VR headset, take a moment to appreciate the power of HDRI images in creating the breathtakingly realistic and immersive worlds that we are able to experience. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next video. If you like these types of videos, leave a comment of what you want to see next. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already.